Good morning, everybody. Half a day, everybody. Haganya, I am back. And I'm here at the Agana Shopping Center, even if the words are backwards. That's just because I'm what, do, what I'm doing with the camera. But hello, everybody. Good morning, half a day. I am Jason Salas coming to you from the Agana Shopping Center on a gorgeous Saturday morning. Couldn't have a better time. Hello, all of you who are joining in right now. I am going to hang out with some friends of mine for a little bit and tell you about the Towers for Humanity project. Do um, you guys know Landon and his twin brother, Brandon? I, Brandon's actually older, by the way, by 13 minutes. Um, they are rebuilding the World Trade Center. So the twin brothers rebuilding the Twin Towers uh, to help feed needy kids with our friends at Be Heartfelt. Lori Marsh Marble is here as well. So half a day, hello everybody. I didn't know you guys don't want to look at me, but here we are. We have this wonderful place. Again, a shopping center opens in about three minutes from now, but I started early because I want to get all of the awareness, all the hype, let you guys know what's going on right here. We have these wonderful shirts. Now remember, we are working to help feed needy kids. No better charity right, right there. Be, be heartfelt. And what better way to do this than to actually bring in 20,000 Lincoln Logs, right? Not just 20, not just 2,000, 20,000 of these little things. Now I know I can, I can pick one of these up because the structures aren't built yet, but look at that. We're taking these classic, classic toys. I had, I had Lincoln Logs when I was a kid. Did you guys? Um, and we are going to rebuild, I should say we. There's Landon, his uh, twin brother Brandon's around here somewhere, but uh, Landon, good morning, man. Half a day, bro. Good morning, half a day. Very good to see you. Thank you okay. for, for coming to our next project. Absolutely. Okay, and I love the shirt, by the way. Yeah, my uh, other half's supposed to be here somewhere. He's on his way over. Yeah, so, so there you go. Remember, everybody, that was history being made right here on the island because Landon and Brandon actually recreated the... Which the one was Willis it? The Willis Tower. The Willis Tower. There you go. You guys have done so many. I, I, you know, I get confused. But they, we actually are in the Guinness Book of World Records because of Landon and Brandon. And I thought that we were actually going to have. I was hoping that we could actually get the very first uh, Lincoln Log being laid. But it looks, bro, as if you have already kind of like laid the structure, the foundation. Yeah. Is it? Break it down for me. Yeah, it's a very complicated structure because we have the twin towers. So this is going to be the towers for humanity. And so what I want to do is to build the Twin Towers. It's going to take the bulk of our, our blocks, which would be about 95,000 blocks. 95,000? I want to make sure that these towers are in sync with each other because ultimately this whole thing is going to connect together. And if you see... Whoops. These, and uh, these, I just stepped on a couple, so... This is going to mark the full block of what we call the World Trade Center complex. Because right. This is World Trade Center 1 and 2. Then we have 3, 4, 5, and 6 that makes up the whole World Trade Center complex in there you New York go. City. We want to recreate that as one single piece. So we have to make sure it grids together. Once I get this all blocked down, we're gonna pull all these blocks away and focus on the towers because we're gonna bring in ladders, lifts next weekend. And, and again, th these are just run of the mill like Lincoln logs. Like some people would say, okay, you, you like, yeah, I know you're using like two pound Lincoln logs as the base and everything like that. Yeah. Everything here is basically Universal, right? That's exactly See, it. So we have all of these ones all the way around. We have, brand. We have Tumble Tree Timber brands. We also have Clydesdale Cabin brand from Minnesota. Clydesdale. Um, a guy that makes them custom made out of his own house. But these are the Tumble Tree Timber brands. And do, you, so do you mind if I just, I've always wanted to do this. Okay. You might stub your fingers. Wow. <laughs> but yeah, it's a lot Is there a doctor in the house? Yeah, we might need some doctors later. But yeah. Yeah, it's going to be fun. And one of the big pieces of our Habitat for Humanity event last year with the Willis Tower was sponsor a log. And so for a sponsorship, you get to uh, sponsor a log of various sizes. Okay. And you can mark it up, color it up. And of course, this is the one that I sponsored for Habitat last year. And can, can people still sponsor logs if they come by the Uganda Shopping oh, Center today? Absolutely. This is going to be going on all week. We have the Tumani family. Uh, this is, I think, a family from... Oh, I know. Yeah, uh, that's a that's a Tumaning family. Yeah, yeah Tumaning. And so, yeah, this is a sponsorship from a family. But look at all these logs. All these white logs over here, ready to be sponsored. There's there's Dinga. There's there's twin brother Brandon. And there's Brandon. So yeah, we have this whole stack of logs. We did our test build a couple weeks ago. Okay, I want to say that. Okay, well, I'm six three, and these come up to maybe about my hip. So I'm thinking this yeah. is maybe about like three and a half feet, maybe yeah, four. Yeah, three and a half feet. If you put them all together, it's going to be about. 10 feet tall. Okay, Th there is 
there is the key. You know, the World Trade, the World Trade Center, the Twin Towers, super, super tall. I, I believe there were what, 130 stories or something. Yeah, the World Trade Centers were 110 floors each. 110. And the North Tower had that spire of 360 right. feet on top. Okay, so. and here at the Agana Shopping Center, I know you guys actually, you guys almost hit like the apex of the atrium. Yeah, we went right up to the blue up yeah. there. Yeah. How high are you guys going this time? Uh, we're going to go about 19 feet, so it won't be as high as last year but we're gonna have 20,000 more blocks. So last year's tower was 74,000. We're gonna have 95,000 or so blocks. Once we uh, get some of these other pieces over here, the secondary building blocks, we could go over 100,000 blocks. Right on. Easily. Okay, so again, if you're just watching us, half a day, we are at the Agana Shopping Center, which is now open, by the way, so everybody, come on down. You, I mean, you know you wanna to go to Ross, you know you wanna to go to Pretzel Maker, get something to eat. Brandon and Landon are here right now. They are already laying out the what is essentially the uh, the foundation, right? The base uh, for the World Trade Center, the two twin towers. Um, okay, and there is a plan here. You're not just like throwing these together willy nilly, or you know, off of some like Google image search and everything like that. You guys actually and pages of notes and measurements and documents. This is our 12 by 12 foot grid, and this is going to be the priority towers: World Trade Center one and two, the North and the South towers. And then we'll go with three, four, five, and six. And ultimately, this is all going to be blocked in together. So it's all one cohesive. So like you unit. said, we are actually building six structures over the course of this weekend, right? Yeah. It's going to be this weekend, all through the coming week. Yep. Rain or shine. And then into the labor. And that's from a weather guy, everybody. And so, yeah, we might have to change our hours because we'll be building uh, during the week from 4 to 8 p.m. So that mm -hmm. we can be at the office and deal with weather during the okay. week. Okay but all through this weekend, all through Labor Day weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday for the construction competition with Be Heartfelt. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna to talk to Lori in, in a little bit because I know we at KUM, we're super excited to get involved with that. There's a ton of stuff going on this weekend, boys. Um, I just came from uh, Freedom Park over there, like what used to be Guam Greyhound Park. There's a swap meet going on. Go check that out, you guys. Uh, we are doing something with Clear the Shelters up the Guam Animal Does Need Animal Shelter. I'll be up there at 11 o'clock. I'm gonna stream, stream that too. However, this is an incredibly social media friendly event. Everybody's invited to come down, take selfies, let everybody know what's Get going involved. on. And again, this is going to be a long duration. It's not going to be a, a quick construction. It's going to be all through the weekend, all through the coming week and Labor Day weekend. Okay. So come check it out. Have you consulted, you know, after Typhoon Mawar, you know, we got a lot of uh, our friends in the military, a lot of the U.S. Co Army Corps of Engineers here, a lot of the Navy Seabees who have a history with like helping out Guam. I mean, they rebuilt like a lot of our structures. Did any of those guys reach out to you or did you talk to anybody? We did reach out to them. Uh, this event has two parts. One, well, three parts. One to build this. Mm -hmm. But the second part to partner with Be Heartfelt and collect food for kids in need on the island. But also yes, sir. to recognize and uh, give thanks to our first responders and military members on the island. So hopefully in the coming week we'll have uh, static displays and booths for people to get information on these various agencies. Yeah. As, these, um, as these wonderful containers full of Lincoln Logs are emptied so that we can continue to build, uh, you know, these six, I mean, there, there's basically the main twin towers right now, but we're going about 19 feet high, six in all. And I know there is a decision, Landon, that you have yet to make. And, you know, we wanted to tap Facebook right now because we're live streaming right now. So, uh, folks, Landon needs your help. He's a man of science, so we are going to crowdsource this. I need your help. And so we have limited blocks, but when we build the towers, we want to put words down the face of the towers. So sure. we're going to have never forget on one of the faces of the towers, probably facing toward the escalators here, but what do we want facing that way? What's a popular slogan with 9-11 to make it memorable? So give us your thoughts. God Ooh. bless USA. God bless Guam. Uh, I want your thoughts as we build these towers. You have about personally i like enough and enough amalik you can fit those yeah. both like down the side that's, that's just important. me now the other thing is you see these black bulletin boards over here this yeah. is where i want the people to get involved because as a, a way of giving thanks and honor to our service members and first responders i want people to come over here we're gonna have markers papers and pencils for people to write your thoughts where were you what your memories of 9 11. right but on also give messages of thanks and encouragement to the first responders guam police guam fire um, our Homeland Security folks. Customs, airport police, and you know. We want to make this a memorable event for the community, especially for folks that are 22 and under. Yes. They weren't born before when this happened. And so, reading the messages that I hope people will come and write your messages, your memories, this is where I want the public to get involved. Okay, so you are the master of public relations. We know that, we've worked with you for years. Love working with you. Brandon's here. Is that right? Okay, I don't think so. There you go. <laughs> okay, for those of you Dr. Seuss fans, we got thing one and thing two here. 
just about. <laughs> there you go. Okay, it looks like you're doing like a lot of the engineering here, a lot of the architecture. What has been the biggest challenge in figuring out exactly how you're going to pull this off in the time span that you've been given? Finding out how many blocks we need, and if we're looking at 100,000 blocks, that's 100,000 pieces that have got to be interlinked together. Mm -hmm. So the more people we have that can help us put the columns together, that all we have to do is just stick them on the tower, now it can go much faster. And so that's, we really, uh, we really modernized yeah, and made that process very efficient when we did our, uh, did our project at the uh, Micronesia Mall okay. last Christmas. No hate, no shit, you guys are nerds. <laughs> All right. And that's awesome. And that's coming from me. That's coming from like, you know, like top of the mountain when it comes to being a geek. Right. I am loving this right now. Nothing has been left to chance. You guys have done calculations. But at the same time, I, I know how how insanely creative the both of you are and everything. Um, is there like a little wiggle room if you guys get like inspired somewhere through and you could be like, you know, we're going for accuracy with the Twin Towers and everything like that. But I got a little bit of an idea about how we can use these blackboards or, you know, work with we, some other people. We could, and, and so we are always looking for that next project idea. So uh, if, if somebody knows of some nice tower a that venue. would be fun to produce, a venue to, to build something in that's got plenty of space. I'm uh, gonna go ahead and say the so, ITC building. Oh, that would be interesting. Let's rebuild that. <laughs> Whoa. How about this one? Empire, we, well, we've done that, right? We've done the well, Empire we, State Building. I got plans for 29 feet. R Whoa, okay. But I need the airspace. As the late Steve Jobs would say, you know, you're, you're always plus wanting something. <laughs> okay. Um, and uh, let's talk real quick because a bunch of people jumped, jumped on the live stream right now. Half a day to everybody. We are at the Agana Shopping Center. If you're on Guam, come down. Agana Shopping Center is not far away for anybody, right? Jump in the car. You're here in 10 minutes, right? That's right. Um, you can sponsor these logs and everything. So let's, uh, let's say how people can do that and how much is it to sponsor a log? Yes. Yeah, so there is our two options. And so with our charities, uh, the Be Heartfelt and then also First Responders, uh, we are looking to help, help those uh, entities raise, raise funds and also uh, food. There's so, an example. So one option is through the sponsor logs. So either through a cash uh, donation, a uh, monetary donation that will go to the first responders or be heartfelt. Uh, we have different size blocks, so each one will have different amounts. So one, two, four, 10, 15, 25, or $50 for the very large six notch blocks. Uh, or you could donate canned non-perishable foods uh, and that will go straight to the Be Heartfelt charity and, and that will be helping uh, a lot of students within the Guam schools. So specifically these are two notch blocks. You can sponsor one of these with one canned food or two dollars. The three notch block. For just two bucks. For just two dollars. There you go. And, and you, can, you can absolutely like decorate these as However you see you fit, want. right? Yeah. yeah so give, a, give a shout out to somebody. Maybe you want to represent your school and say like, yeah. personally, I would say go Sharks. Um, I mean, maybe you can honor somebody who has passed on. Maybe you know somebody who was uh, in New York City uh, when the Twin Towers collapsed. Yes. What so a wonderful way. The four notch, three can goods or $10. And then we got the premium, the six notch blocks. That's good for 10 can goods and $50. I'll be probably donating one of those. I like to do a, a classic six. Very cool. Every event. Okay, tell you what, we were talking about the canned uh, thing. I'll be back there in a second because guys, when do you actually lay the very first um, block and when are we going to like start building up? Because I want to catch that. We're going to be starting very shortly. So okay. We've 30 already minutes. got the, the foundation going and uh, so we'll be going up shortly and then as we start getting more hands on deck, uh, we're going to be putting those columns together and then we're just going to start rising vertically. Okay. I'll be right back. By the way, if you guys have no idea how cool it was to play with Lincoln Logs, this was always my favorite part because like when, you're, when your structure was finished building, I had like the log house. You put that chimney on, oddly satisfying, as everybody says like <laughs> on Instagram story right now. Okay, so I'm going to check in with them. Um, and then you oh. got the characters. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. Well, that works. Okay. We've been talking about Be Heartfelt, this wonderful, wonderful organization. We've worked with uh, Lori Marsh Marble. And her team for about half a day, Lori. Half a day. So good to see you as always. Thank you. Okay, what a wonderful way for the uh, for the brothers to to give back and everything. And obviously, you know, um, your heart is in the island community. You grew up here. Yeah. You're from here. I mean, you have the pulse of the community. You know what Inafamaluk is like. We take care of our neighbors. Um, how can people come down and? among other things, you know, help feed needy kids, which is what you're doing. Yes, yeah, so you can come down, donate a can of food, and as I told you, you can get a log. 
Um, you could also give a financial donation. Or I also have my Be Heartfelt shirts. And That's an understatement, Lloyd. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> We have, okay, whatever, whatever your fashion sensibility is, if you guys want to go pastels, if you guys want to go hot pink, because we know Bar Barbie is still a thing. Ba Barbie Barbie's Barbie's a real thing. This has been the summer of Barbie and Taylor yes, Swift, I swear. Um, but look, look at all these colors. If you want to be like a little bit brighter, if you want to stand out and show how you represent um, your island community, if you want to wear this when you go exercising in the morning, as I do, if you want to do the day glow thing, we've got that. But just the array of colors, Lori, is so amazing. Thank you. So, and I, how much are these shirts? So the shirts are twenty-five dollars. Okay. And they all are mission-based. Um, you know, we really believe in reminding everyone that they are loved, that they're valuable, and created with a purpose. And so they're either be heartfelt or be kind. Um, that's really the heart behind all of this. And just like you said, with the brothers. They are showing a tremendous generosity right now. Who reached out to who? Um, so my sister connected the two of us. Mm -hmm. And I really... Your sister, of course, former Senator Dr. Kelly Marsh Titan. Yes, and I really appreciate it because... The two of you are angels on earth. Oh, <laughs> I don't know about that. And she's that. like, oh, stop. I feel like these are my angels because they work a full-time job. Yeah. And they're coming and doing this with their time after work. And they're really making a difference to feed kids. This is going to be, I think, a game changer. There's a whole bunch of children right now that really, really need a solid quality, not just a meal, but they need nutritional food, good food, you know, to fuel them as they go to school, to just get them through the day, you know, to to give them that, that positive reinforcement that they need to be, you know, productive members of society, right? I mean, I'm preaching to the choir here, but Absolutely. tell me about that. Absolutely. Well, you know, if you look at an island like Guam, we feed in the school system, breakfast and lunch is free because the need is so great. So when you have a whole community that's getting free breakfast and lunch, that shows you that there's a real, real concern out there. And here on Guam, food is currency. I mean, food is, is a social element. I mean, it's part, of, it's part of who we are. So to be denied that is to make yourself possibly less of a Guamanian, I would say. <laughs> I just think it's a tremendously hard thing to even envision to go more than 48 hours. Right. So, you know, they go home on Friday after school and they have the possibility of having no food um, until they come to school on Monday. And we want to make a huge impact in right. a positive way so that they can feel like their community cares and loves them and they have, like, full stomachs and, and they're ready to learn and they're excited to be at school, you know, not feeling as though it's one more obstacle, but it's one more positive in their life right well god bless you Lori, and god bless be heartfelt you guys Thank are always doing you. amazing work you guys have, you guys have given shoes to needy kids who need who need um yes. who need footwear now you guys are feeding kids you guys are inspiring everybody and you're a valued member of our community okay sorry don't mean to cut you off because you're yeah. doing apps amazing hey guys wait for me i can hear you guys laying it up <laughs> wait did, did I, wait did i miss it nope we're just uh, laying okay the foundation so we're getting things good okay but you know what just for you just for me, a KUM exclusive. You have to lay a block. Oh, I would be happy to lay a block. I will do the camera work. Okay. You okay. Can you can stick the honorary. Uh, oh, thank the you. Sacrificial column, right here on this corner, right there. Okay, so I'm gonna give the uh, camera to Landon. <laughs> My chiropractor isn't enjoying this that. This may or may not last for the entire tower. This could be more of a. Okay. Uh, uh, a ceremonial call. Right? Okay, now, the, now Brandon, I need your help with this because I work in software, right? So everything I build is virtual. The, this, these are actual physical yes. bits, right? These are these are atoms yes. and everything. So how do you want me to lay this out? So just put them right here, and okay. you make a little stack. Make sure it does not fall. Okay, and so I'm I'm just going. I'm, I'm taking all of these, and you gave me I think like about ten. So yes. I'm just going straight up, right? So the whole tower, the whole. The stability of the tower rests upon this column. Oh boy. So if this <laughs> is not perfectly flat and crisscrossed and notched in, the towers will, will just crumble before we can get halfway up. Oh, no, pres so, no pressure, Jace, by the way. This is the foundation. Okay. The most important part of the, this project. This is okay. like the cornerstone. 
Now I'm not I'm not rushing this. All right? I was I remember where I was when 9/11 happened. Um, I was already at KUM. It was I want to say maybe about 11 p.m. our time. My coworkers and I went out for dinner, and then we heard about it, and then we experienced as, as everybody did. Uh, you know, we're all watching CNN, and we found out you know exactly what happened. Um, okay. Uh, all right, boss. What? Um, not entirely straight. Okay, let me. Will it hold? So, as we go taller and we get in these and columns. And how many projects have you guys now done, including this one? How many towers for humanity have you, have you guys done? This is this? our third one. This is the third. Okay, we did the Empire State Building, we did the Willis Tower, and now we're doing the World Trade Center. Yes, yeah, so uh, the, the, we had the Guinness World Record. That was the Willis Tower with the uh, Habitat for Humanity. And then we had uh, the Christmas one that we partnered with Toys for Tots. So we did a 15-foot Empire State Building, 11-foot Willis Tower, and then we did Singapore's Mil uh, Manila. Uh, Marina Bay Sands. Marina Bay Sands, <laughs> not Manila. <laughs> What's that one tower in Dubai? That Burj one, Khalifa. Uh, the Burj Khalifa. Yeah, okay. We, that one would be kind of fun to create, but we would need to really get creative in how these blocks are made because right now they only allow crisscross. I would think. We'd have to have blocks that allow uh, angled okay. crisscrossings. I don't know if you saw the interview I did with your, with your brother the other day, Brandon, but I was like, I have a challenge for you guys, if you guys if you guys are up to it, and you always are. The Olympics is, of course, coming up next summer. Yep. It is in Paris. Oh, yeah. Could we work with you guys at KOM? Because you're going to be able to watch the Olympics on our channel. Could we... Oops. Oh, boy. Oh, My bet. Could we actually do the Eiffel Tower? That would be kind of fun. We would have to get very creative, especially... I was telling you, we may have to get you guys in a record set. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a record set might be a little easier to get the, uh, the tapering legs of the Empire State Building. That would be the difficult part. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and what's, our, what's our guy over there doing? That's, that's, a, that's a responsible job, bro. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're transporting this pre-made structure? Is that what we're doing? Yes. Yep, that's going to be our sponsor log. So we have so many logs to sponsor because you have to do it soon because these are all going inside of the towers as we start building. So all these logs are ready for sponsorship. Now, I can see what you said, Brandon, because Latin... Try and get a shot of this, right? You really got to have your A game on when you do this because as you see, even the slightest like variation can make, you know, mm -hmm. a notable curve. And at 19 feet tall and how much um how much weight do you think that that's that that's going to be all, you know, um, all compressed and It's a good question. I've never weighed them all, but uh, if we were to weigh each of these bins, we'd have a good idea probably by 700 to a thousand pounds i was gonna say that's that's nearing a ton maybe it's possible. It's possible okay real quick um because i want to let you guys get to it right and then as you can see come down to the again shopping center right now brandon and his twin brother landon they've already started laying out the foundation for what will be the twin towers in the world trade center six structures in all are being assembled right here remember the again shopping center is a pretty tall one we're going 19 feet uh high how long are the completed structures going to be displayed here because we're not just saying okay we're done and then you know that's it it's going to be going through a full month um guam homeland security is doing their national preparedness month activities on september 30th saturday morning and afternoon we're gonna have the towers up through that event so it's gonna be all september and we will literally be reaching for the stars <laughs> <laughs> the wordplay alone is reason why you should come down here uh, okay so again please come down please sponsor a log sponsor several uh, we would love to have you participate in this. It, it is an amazing, amazing opportunity. Once again, Be Heartfelt is a charity. Um, there's, and there's Lori right now. Hi, Lori. I didn't do any actual building, but I can carry out. But she's transporting, and that, that, that's equally important. Okay. So we start at 10 a.m. You guys are going until the mall closes here, right? So until 8 p.m. and then tomorrow, right back at it. 10 right? to 8. Absolutely. 10 and then to 8. for the coming week, 4 to 8 p.m. Okay, so I'm assuming when we do like our, our work week weather forecast report, you guys are going to zoom in from down here, right? Uh, probably be in the office. Yeah, Why don't I just come down here? Could do that. Yeah. Could do that. On site. Field trip! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man, so always a pleasure. Gentlemen, thank you guys for what you're doing for our island community. Thank you for this amazing way to, uh, to always remember 9-11 and thank you for Lori's Lori's already working hard everybody so um, yes. we are gonna make sure we honor our servicemen anybody in law enforcement and we are always always gonna make sure that all of our island children have a 
full stomach and they are properly fed. Absolutely. All right, final thoughts. Give us your thoughts. We want to hear your memories, your, your messages of thanks and encouragement to first responders, Guam Fire, Guam Police, uh, service members, but also help uh, those kids in needs on islands by sponsoring a log. We're going to be here for 10 days building. There you go. A week and a half. Let's get this thing done. All right, boys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Come on down, guys. This is awesome.